Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. In here and another bed, I've got cabbage. And we have a major problem with cabbage loopers in this area. Last year, it just, I mean, it ate up half my cabbage, put holes in everything. It was just a pain. Now that the weather has warmed up a little bit, they're coming back out. So we were fine for a while, but right here in beginning of March, I'm starting to notice quite a few holes in my, my leaves. I haven't found too many of the actual cabbage loopers, but I'm quite sure that's what they are um, because they're good size holes and that's, that's what eats those. Um, there are other worms as well that we do have a problem with also, and we get white flies. So all, all down the board, it's just, it's not fun. But I am gonna spray some BT on this. I, I don't really know if it's organic or not, but uh, it, it's derived from a bacteria, I think. And basically when, from my understanding is when the cabbage looper or any other kind of bug eats the leaves, then basically it keeps them from ever wanting to eat again. It kind of lessens their appetite and then they just starve to death. That's, that's my understanding of it. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and start getting this ready and get this sprayed on. So I've got this spray bottle here. I have a little bit of water in there because I, you want to mix it up. So if I dump this in with that, then it'll help. So let's see, what are the directions here? All right, so this is one and a half gallons and it can be put two fluid ounces, four tablespoons per gallon. So we'll fill this up to one gallon. That's probably all I'll, I'll need this whole year. All right, so all brassicas, that's pretty much what I'm spraying it on. I do have lettuce as well. So it says here, maximum number of applications per calendar year six, minimum days to wait before reapplying four, and minimum days to wait from last application to harvest is one. I can wait a couple days. I don't need to harvest this lettuce. I don't need it right now, but I think I might. Let me go get a bucket and we'll do that. So I need to, let's see, does this have like a measuring thing? This measuring cup has tablespoons. This is for the neem oil that I've got and it shows tablespoons four. So that's what it said. Shake before use, it says. Pour this into four tablespoons. And we got just slightly over four, almost five, but that's okay. We'll just fill up to one and a half. Oh, let's pour a little back. That's, that's four right there. We're gonna put this right in and then we are going to fill this up. Let's get the cap on so we don't knock this over. Fill her up. I don't plan on using this lettuce within two days, but so I, I mean, I could spray it and then it says that I can harvest it, but honestly, I'm a little worried about that. I don't necessarily want to chance eating some of that. That one's got whole holes from bugs. We'll give that to the chickens. We'll keep just the best leaves for ourselves. And this is actually turning into a head lettuce. It's really beautiful. This is a Merrillville Four Seasons. And I really like this lettuce. It tastes great. But apparently, look at that. It's forming ahead. There's a whole bunch more of it up here. Now this chard I don't need to harvest yet. I'm gonna wait until I get these much bigger and then I can harvest them for you know, stir fry, but you need quite a few for a stir fry, so. Uh, but I do need to spray them. As you can see, there's holes on a couple of these leaves. Also, the beans here have quite a few holes on them, so that means something's coming through and eating them. And I just want to kind of nip all that at the bud to make sure that it's not going to continue. I think I'll wait on that lettuce. I don't need to harvest it anytime soon. I mean, we've got enough lettuce here now for a day or two. And I still got some inside. They love it. I'm gonna shake this quite a bit. Get this on my shoulder. Oh yeah, I gotta pump it. All right. So, since I did see some of that poop on, on these, we'll go ahead and spray even the lettuce, maybe lightly. Definitely this cabbage 
needs it. Get it on the chard here. And you can see the end one is the one with all the holes in it. The middle ones seem okay. So I'm not sure what that's about. And then we'll get, definitely get these peas. All right, and then we got one other bed, this bed next, which is cabbage. Now I'm not seeing a ton of pest pressure because of this thing over it, but we're gonna hit this early. Since, since we've got it in other places, make sure that we don't end up getting a problem. Because once, once it starts, sometimes it can get out of hand and you almost can't correct it. There is a couple holes on this though, so I know that they're in here. That was broccoli and cauliflower. This is a cabbage. And I think that's everything that I need to worry about. I'll come back in a couple days and we'll see how this pest pressure is, if it's still there. So we're about five days later after I sprayed and these, I believe were all here, but none of the newer leaves, eh, that one has a couple, but you can see just, these are the newer ones. That one has a couple, but just not as many for sure. I mean, there's none in these brand new ones. There's no holes. Uh, so I think, that worked. Got a couple in the peas chewed off like that. That could be grasshoppers. I've seen quite a few grasshoppers around and this spray isn't gonna help the grasshoppers. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are because it's the edges of the leaves that are eaten. As you guys can see here, uh, there's a couple in the center, but generally the grasshoppers eat on the side, at least from what I've seen. I think, I think we got them taken care of. Now, I'll have to spray again probably pretty soon because all the time the cabbage looper moths are coming and laying here and then laying their eggs. So every couple days I can spray again, but I need to thin this out because I'm starting to get some aphids on the, on the leaves like you can see here. Anything that is kind of pushed up against another one. There's a couple right there, but then I don't see any on these leaves here. So as long as they're not pushed up against another, uh, kind of the aphids can't hide, if that makes sense. So, but these are doing really well. Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.